Hello everybody and welcome back to the final video of this video series. In this video I'll lay out and glue down all these fine pieces I painted in the previous video. Getting started right away, I got all my pieces here and I am going to arrange them all onto this background I decided to use and um, glue them all down. But before I can glue them I want to make sure that everything looks right, I got the spacing apart just right. Uh, I'm being very careful and taking my time on this part because this will all determine how this looks when it's completely finished. This is the glue that I'm using. I got it from the dollar store. It's pretty good stuff. I've done used it for, for quite a few things around the house. It seems to be pretty good. I've already tested this on a piece of wood and another, you know, random piece of clay and all. And the bond's really well, so I'm going to go with this glue. Starting with the big one here, the biggest piece of all three words. It's this is the the word love. Uh, it's got this really really big piece that uh, took quite a while to do every part of this project from making it to sanding it to painting it. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I want glue on every part of it. I don't want any dry areas because technically this glue will kind of reinforce it and give it more strength because it's bond it's bound to the wood. Uh, you know, and all the little parts will be held in place so it'll make it a lot stronger and everything but I'm just picking up each piece and adding this glue putting it in there pretty thick I want it to kind of beat out just a little bit all the way around and I put them back down wherever they're supposed to be positioned and I just keep working with it and move from one piece to the other and uh, you know, take my time. You do have a little, quite a bit of a window if you need to wiggle things around or something. Uh, you know, you don't even have to use a wood background for this. Like if you was just going to use your, make you a, like your name or something. Say you wanted your name above your work area, your little crafting area. You could make you like your letters and stuff and just probably glue them on the wall, I guess. Uh, or use another material or maybe even some like poster board or fiber board or something. Uh, I, I just went with this wood. I know it's expensive because I thought bamboo would go good with Chinese words, but um, just taking my time moving through all this because this is this is it. Once I let this sit, it will uh, be pretty much like that permanently. And I am going to be sealing this again off camera with the that sealer that I used that I showed you in the last video because I thought that would make it look a lot better. But that pretty much concludes gluing all these down. Uh, just go ahead and I let this sit overnight, pretty much let it dry. Now we're moving on to installing some kind of hanger on the back. And I'm using screws. Uh, this is some galvanized wire, some little wire working needle nose pliers. And uh, what I want to do is I'm going to lay down like an old towel to protect the facing of this. I want to make sure that where the top is at. Uh, that way I'm not, you know, building this to hung upside down. Now that's a self-centering roller. I picked those up at Hobby Lobby. And they're really awesome to have because you can center things on zero. And it just gives you a good idea of what you got going on. I'm also using a drill bit to pre-drill my holes. Uh, main reason is because this is pretty hard wood, I guess. And it's laminated. So I don't want to split it, and by pre-drilling my holes, it will allow, you know, the screw to get a good bite and, and everything like it's supposed to, but the, it won't outright just split the wood. Just being a little safe, you know, safety precaution. Also, um, if you're not sure with how deep you should drill, just put some tape on your drill bit, like, so it'll show you where you should stop. You know, if you're scared, you might drill all the way through. Now I'm using some of that real thin galvanized wire and I am wrapping the end all the way around and kind of spiraling it, twisting it at the end. This will give me like a little loop at the end, which is what I'll feed my screw through. Straighten it back out. Now you can see that my hole is on one end. It'll, I can get an idea where the other end is going to be. Once I figure that out, I'll grab it by that spot on that point with 
my uh, little pliers and then I'll make the other side of the loop just put something pretty simple this thing is not very heavy at all it doesn't need any heavy duty uh, reinforcements or anything like that just two screws and some um, galvanized wire running through uh, should be fine so there it is everything's ready to be screwed down now now I'm just gonna take my screws and I'm gonna you know work it all the way down to there see it's that's good now I know it won't come off because it's it had to actually be twisted in there uh, obviously you don't want to use your you don't want to make the loops to the little loops too big to where they um, the wire just falls off so I'm screwing this down with a not so good screwdriver I don't think it was uh you know how they skip sometimes I think the tips wore out on it tighten one end down really good make sure that wire is positioned where I, I want it to be first just a little bit more see that's looking good it's looking good right there I'll just put another screw in on this other side just like that this is pretty much it there's there's nothing else that really needs to be done with this but that's it see it side view this is this is it this is all you need that's all you need I really appreciate you guys for you know checking out this video it means a lot and for watching this series you made it through and that's awesome in the next video I'll be showing you the kind of like a kind of like a final reveal uh, opening presentation thing check that out if you're interested and once again thank you so much for being a part of this it means a lot it really does I just say that all the time but it's true you guys are awesome uh, thank you so much I'll see you here again soon